If you are a boomerite, a boomerang, or just a plain good old Muppet that follows the channel, and you want to check out what we're doing right now, as you're watching this, me and Queen Boomer, we are in Greece. If you want to check out what we're doing, you can check out the description below. And in there will be our Instagram account. You can follow that and see what we're up to over there. Might be no good. Um, we might be getting in some trouble. Or we might just be acting like Muppets like we usually do. So, if you guys want to check out what we're doing over there, we're there right now. So... Instagram page is in the description below. Anyway, um, in that spirit, I wanted to find something funny about American tourists. Because me and Qu Queen Boomer, we're not trying to be the ridiculous American tourists that, you know, end up in other countries from time to time. We do not want to be those people. We're trying to be uh, Good Samaritans. We're uh, over there trying to uh, be an example for our country and not embarrass ourselves. So in that light, uh, this is Harry and Paul. Is it Harry Enfield? I don't know. Because I just typed American Tourist funny in the search field. But I have no idea what this is. Maybe it's British. I don't know. Um, American Tourists go for breakfast. So this should be funny. Um stereotypical, but, you know, we deserve that from time to time, because, you know, we get, sometimes we, uh, some of our, some of my fellow Americans end up in other countries and don't know how to act, and this is probably what it's going to be like, so, in that light, here we go, let's check it out, Harry and Paul, American tourists go for breakfast. Good morning. Good morning. How are Hello. you today? How are you? Hello. How are you today? Hello. Oh, no. They how did old you? Americans. Old geezer Americans. <laughs> Least they're being nice. Usually old Americans are not so nice. Good morning. Hello. Is there anyone sitting here? Uh, yes, one. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much, oh. sir. Good oh. morning, Junior. Ha! What a guy. <laughs> <laughs> yes? Hello, how are you today? What you want? I'll just have a coffee, please. And maybe some pancakes. And a couple eggs, easy over. Maple bacon, hash browns, a little sour cream on the side, and a pork chop. Oh, and some waffles for Penny. Just cheese sandwich. Oh, uh, okay, well... I love the just cheese sandwich. What a wonderful breakfast experience. And I will also have the... Yo, if you... If, for all those who follow the channel, if you're not from the States, and only about 2% of you are from the States, um, if you're not from the States, and you see Americans acting like this, please call them a twat or something. Okay? <laughs> Way too nice. I mean... Uh, I guess it's better than mean, but, I mean, I know this is a skit, but, you know, that hearty, hearty, har, hi, my name is Bob, I'm in your beautiful country, and I would like some waffles, please, good jolly to see you, man, how you doing, hurrah, like, uh, just be real, come on, I know this is a, a skit, but, you know, that I had to say that, I had to get it out there. Exciting just cheese sandwich breakfast option. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Ah. Hey there, Junior. Is that a sports magazine? Football. Oh, I love football. Have you heard of the Benilli Boing Chipmunks? Shoot, we got whipped last week by them pesky Rhoda eyed rapists. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny, cause, uh, old, old people here talking about football say shit like that from time to time. Oh my god. 
Oh, we were off the pace the whole game. And in the third quarter, it was second down and ten. They dumped the wide receiver, and the quarterback had nowhere to go. They put him in the ground. They sacked him. So now we're three points behind the Mincinani Minsters with a game in hand over the Tampon Bay Terrorists. Then two over the Pennsylvania Pedos. It's now... <laughs> Oh my god! The, the pedos from so where? Three points behind the Mincinani Mincers with a game in hand over the Tampon Bay Terrorists. Then two over the Pennsylvania Pedos. The Pennsylvania Pedos! Oh my god! Oh. 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 Wow. Uh, I did not think that this was going to be that funny. Mm. Phew. Wow. <laughs> you know what, Junior? In my younger days, I used to cheerlead for the pedos. Yes, I did. Daddy's not lying, Junior. Here she goes. Pedos, pedos, don't you like the pedos? P-A-E-D-O, pedos. Pedos. Give me a P. P. Give me an A. A. Give me an E. Shake it for the pedos! Oh you know, my junior, god. When I was a young man, I really wanted to be a pedo, but I... <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what show was that? Oh, oh, that was so funny. Jesus Christ. Oh, man. If you ever see Americans acting like that... Overseas, when they're outside of their country, just rise up and slay them, please. Oh my god, wow. Now, was that Harry Enfield? I feel like it was. I mean, I've seen him in like three or four things now, and each time he's, it, it's, it's hard to recognize him, but he's so good at, you know, uh, impressions and impersonations, it's, it's, I feel like it's got to be him. So let me know in the comments, please. And also in the comments, let me know what you thought of that. Because I thought it was hilarious. So Harry and Paul. Does he have, like, multiple shows if it is Harry Enfield? And if he does, I mean, there's so many different shows. I mean, he might, he, this guy must be a genius. It's, uh, it's like he's on all these different comedy shows being characters that are not him... And then you got Jimmy Carr, who's on every talk show, uh, not every talk show, every game show that uh, for comedians. Good stuff, man. Really good stuff. Like I said, I love that you guys have all this stuff. It's like for me, it's like doing this reaction channel. It's like an untapped gold mine that you you guys have gotten me onto. I gotta give Embrace the Suck 21 another shout out because they're the ones that inspired me to start doing this channel to uh, react to uh, comedy and all sorts of things from uh, the other parts of the English speaking world. It's been a hell of a ride. And this one right here killed me. <laughs> I, I'm sure there's some of you thinking, well, it wasn't that funny, come on. But it, that was really funny to me. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Like, subscribe, do whatever you guys want. And remember, if you see Americans acting like this in your country, uh, please give them a slap in the face. Because <laughs> that's ridiculous. Anyway, uh, I'm King Boomer. And like I said, we're in Greece. Go follow the Instagram account. Just check out to see what we're up to. You guys have a great day. And stay safe out there. Peace out, Boomerites.